Hi, I'm Mike. This here is Denise, a.k.a. Snapshot Sunrisa. We'd like to welcome you guys, or I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we knew at this uh, whole YouTube channel, uh, we want you to travel along with us. We are switching from motorcycles to RVs and ATVs. Uh, we're going to be doing different things of uh, traveling to different campgrounds, not only the campgrounds, but we're also going to be doing RV trails, which, ATV. excuse me, ATV trails, which a lot of people are not making videos of. There's some beautiful trails, some backwoods, some mountains, some lake trails. So we'd like you to come along with us. Yes, please. Uh, today, we're going to be installing uh, chairs that we have, excuse me, steps to our RV because we have the older model steps. So we're going to be switching them out. Let me give you, let me show you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so with our old steps, we're going to take that away. Well, not me, Michael, or Snapshot. And we're going to replace it with the Lippert solid steps. It's, for our unit, we're going to have the quad steps. These here are the steps themselves. And they're going to be replacing the old steps here. The installation is supposed to be fairly easy. So we're going to switch you over. Hopefully. And I'm going to let, <laughs> hopefully, I'm going to let uh, Sarisa control the camera while I get started. They have different ways to mount it. They have it where you can run the uh, bolt in and put a nut on the bottom. Or if your floor is thick, you can just run the screws. That's the way we're going to do it. So the first thing they're having you do is you got to take off this uh, plate in the back of your uh, uh, floor here. So that's be the first thing we do. Okay, once you take that um, little piece of trim off, make sure it's nice and clean. It's, the rail here is clean. Then you bring your step over. a little problem because when I parked here I didn't make up my mind that I was going to change the step yet so I'm a little close to my shed so hopefully I better roll it back up so I set this here take the little plugs out I'm going to get a little screwdriver for that one but on the bottom of it, it's a rail here. This rail here, you want to make sure you sit it right up against here. Hey guys, this is a snapshot back at you. I uh, ran into a little problem putting the stairs up. Uh, when I decided to do the stairs, I was already parked for the winter. I was too close to the shed. So once I put it together, I couldn't get it down. You see how it works. But move the camper and she's good to go. Um, one thing you need to be careful of, I made the measurements when I had this thing plopped up for storage for the winter. And it's a little higher than it would normally be. So I went with a four step. Um, once I hooked it up to the camper, I just made 
uh, the size that I need. Uh, I'd have been better off probably with a three-step and because uh, it has a nice adjustment to it, it would have been less trouble. But the four-step, I'm able to get away with it barely, but she works beautiful. If you can see it, it's all mounted up here. And I'm going to lift it up for you and put it away. And lift it like this. It's got some weight to it. And it goes in like that. It's not going nowhere. You can see it. Check out here. She's mounted here to the floor. Uh, all you have to do is basically take out that little piece there. And then she'll mount right to the floor. If you have a thinner floor, like I said before, they also have uh, bolts. Uh, screws and bolts that you can mount it. Another plate goes under the bottom. But uh, she is doing good. Now how you open it, you basically take the level here, ring it, slide it to you. Walk it down. Like I said, it has some weight to it, so you gotta be careful. Walk it down, she's good to go. And let me tell you, it's like night and day. I'm a... I'm a big guy and I'm loving it. These things are solid. Carry up to over 400 pounds. But basically, it's not to it. You got to uh, make sure you're careful of your uh, measurement when you first order it. Determine if you need uh, three steps, four steps, or two steps. My suggestion is hook it up to your truck because that's going to be the lowest you ever at and you measure it and you go from there but she is real easy you put the screws here this is adjustable for the sizes of the door you have one two three bolts on each side and this piece here slides back and forth so it makes the adjustment to the doorway you need and that's it she's looking good the door's closed the screen closed on uh youtube i noticed some people had problems when they put it up, the door wouldn't close all the way. Mines didn't have that problem. It just makes it. Beautiful. She's good to go. And like I said, this will probably be the lowest it is ever at, even when I get to the uh, campgrounds and stuff. So she makes it this way. And like I said, the adjustment, I ain't worried about it. Any uh, height that we're gonna have to set up with, I'm quite sure the steps will take care of it. So like I said, just be a little careful with your measurements. Other than that, I advise everybody, you got a little weight to you, you might wanna change steps. Thanks, this is uh, Snapshot and Sunrisa out.